Well, good Thursday morning and welcome back to sunrise. Time now is 543. This morning we continue our series on Coastal Bend Black Excellence. Our Sunrise reporter Cordero McMurray introduces us to Keisha Sobers Butler and tells us how she's working to make life better for the people in the Coastal Bend. Keisha Sobers Butler is the Senior Director of Population Health Services for Driscoll. She's also the first African American woman to hold such a high position where she manages the clinical case management team of 180 plus employees of five locations. The Driscoll Health Plan is a Medicaid managed care organization that is responsible for 216,000 lives. It's pretty cool to be one of those trailblazers, you know, in the community. Sobers Butler says she's been in Texas for 24 years, but is originally from New Orleans. She says she's a product of Texas and historical black colleges. She's a third generational college student with two bachelor degrees. She's also working on her doctorate degree in nursing at University of Texas Tyler. On top of her love for education, what does she say comes first? I'm the mom of an 18 year old that's pretty amazing. Her daughter, Bailey Butler, has Bacterial Syndrome. Bailey's had at this point 16 surgeries. And I guess in doing that, I became a nurse. And then I immediately knew I wanted to do more nursing than just bedside because I was a mom, new mom, that had a kid that had a lot of complex issues. From being a nurse, Sobers Butler became a certified case manager at a pediatric hospital in Houston, where she was able to support families dealing with medical emergencies and issues. From there, she's received multiple promotions. I think she has brought her talent, her energy, her style. She's put her own stamp on the leadership, uh, the way she she has inspired others as a woman of color, as a leader, but also as a, as a mom. With the support of her family. Thank you just for believing in me and not giving up on me. From being a mom to being in school, to going to work, she just, she does it all, we don't know how. And she and all the rest of my family have just given me such a good support system. Sobers Butler says she's thankful for Driscoll for letting her pursue her passion of public health policy and focusing on new laws at the state level including how the Coastal Bend can manage public emergency differently. I sit on a couple of state committees. I have a voice in legislation. But it was really grounded in being a mom of a, of a complex kid and really understanding the business world and understanding the clinical aspects and saying, no, mom needs this or mom needs that because it was personal for me. I still want to make certain that we leave this place a, a better place than, than where we started. Keisha Silvers Butler says what's next for her is finishing her doctorate degree, then maybe opening a jazz club. Be sure to stay tuned to our next episode as we highlight Aon Shamar Mills at Roy Miller High School, who gave up football to follow his dream of playing the piano and singing. If you have a story that you would like to submit highlighting black excellence, reach out to me via social media or email me your submissions. Reporting from the Coastal Bend, I'm Cordero McMurray, Chris 6 Sunrise.